My name is Nezhina Mitrovic. Uh, I've been with Cisco for 15 years. Uh, I've been CCIE for 13 years. My name is Marisol Palmero. I uh, certified 23 years plus. Uh, I joined Cisco almost 25 years ago. My name is Ellen Punch. Um, I work for one of the partners. So. I started with the CCN and CCNP and sort of got into the network first, but I actually did my CCIE in what was then Voice and it's now collaboration. But that journey took about five years um, purely because I just got the experience, got the skills in the field of implementation and installment, and then decided to go for the, uh, the actual CCIE track. And there's still very much uh, the respect for the qualification, which is nice to see, because I think for some of the industry ones, they might have diluted a little, but the CCIE one is still very much, you know, it's recognized, it's respected. Um, I don't want to bring the gender into it, but, but as a woman in an IT world, having this qualification has been a bit of a, oh, she does know what she's talking about. You know, that, that added sort of, yeah, gravitas to the experience and the years that you put in the industry. I think it brings a value, right? Everything related to technology, and if you are up to you know, learn and be able to practice as well, it's, it's bringing a real value to your uh, profile, to your conversations with customers. It uh, brings really respect from people because, again, not to bring the gender into the picture, but they really don't think <laughs> we are bringing the gender into the picture. <laughs> but it's, I, I mean, it is really. I, I, it is number of times, so indeed she does know what she is thinking about. The continuous education program is actually, to me, if it wasn't for it, I, I'm not sure that I will go for the recertification because I, I passed the CCA in routing and switching, so now I do something else. So, but the continuous education, you can take the yes. training program actually of your interest and the last time when I recertified I did the uh, network automation process and then but it's also nice is and that is what they were just telling to Marisol if you write the questions for them net uh, exams you also get the credit yeah. and that is what I did and that is uh, what I'm going to be using for my next uh, recertification. Oh, All of it has been done through credits so I've got um, I think I've got about two or four credits I need, which is what I'm keeping up with here for some of the workshops, and then that gets me my 120 oh, nice. <laughs> to renew in September, definitely. I didn't pass my lab on the first go. It took me two attempts. Um, in my case, it was I went back as soon as I could, I think. I went back a couple of weeks or well, three weeks later, as soon as I could get into it. I, it's not failing, it's picking it back up and getting on with it, really, at the end of the day. And from my experience, having the experience to actually implement the technology I was interested in, that's what helped me. I couldn't have learned it off paper. So I also didn't pass from the first time. It took me three attempts. Uh, almost every single time that I failed, it was like almost there. <laughs> but then, I, I think just take time take it, accept it, it's normal thing, breathe, and then practice if needed, if you need to brush up something and just do it again. Giving up is not an option. <laughs>